Hi. Many of you want to become IIT engineer, you want to become a doctor, you want to become a chartered accountant, you want to become a CBA officer, you want to become a scientist, you want to win Nobel Prize. Now, what is the way through? The thing is, you need to learn this method as to how you can remember science subjects. Anything which has got a logic, how do you remember? And in our memory workshop, we have been talking only about right brain, creativity, visualization. And we talk about that, okay? Any language subjects for English, Hindi, social, management book, speech, you can actually visualize and using the right brain. But when it comes to uh, memorizing mathematics or memorizing uh, your computer flow chart, or it comes to you know, chemistry, physics, botany, zoology, or accountancy, any law subject, now this visualization will get stopped there and it won't help. Then what to do? We should get back into using the left brain, that's called logical brain. Means what? One beautiful method for memorizing science subjects, that's called five wives and one husband method. What, what, what? Don't become crazy. Five wives, one husband. I'm only just joking, okay? It's not real wives, okay? Five W's and one H. So I gave this name, five wives, one husband. So you remember this method for a long time. Something very funny. Five W's means who, when, where, what, why. Husband name is how. Miss any answer to any question falls under the six headings only. Who did it? When did you do? Where did you do? Why did you do? What did you do? And then how did you do? If he has not done that way, what would have happened? If you have understood answers for all the six questions, you would have got the gist of that particular answer. Now, when you go to examination, when you go for any quiz competition, when you are interview, let them ask this question in any way. You'll be able to answer because you understood the root cause of that particular issue. Now, how that theorem got evolved, okay? Mathematics, LHS is equal to RHS. So, if you understand left hand side, if I take out this RHS, right hand side, what will happen? If you understand the logic and you get that computer flow chart, okay? Now, any algorithm, that's where you are going to use the left brain. So, that's how you will understand. So, once you get these concepts clear, that's when you are going to become topmost scientist. You can become Abdul Kalam. You can become a great engineer like a Moksha Vishwasharaya. Why? Whatever happened till now in this universe, civilization development all because of asking these six questions. Who, when, where, what, why and then how. Remember, Isaac Newton was sleeping under one apple tree. One apple fell down. He asked one question. Why is it falling down? Why is it not going up? He found out gravitational force. Means before that nobody slept under the apple tree. Never apple fell down. Nobody saw. It fell down. Many people slept. Now they saw, they didn't ask question, but he asked. James Watt, he was making tea, the steam was lifting the lid. He said, little steam, doing little work. If I make more steam, can I move a machine? Then steam engine. You all of you know Archimedes, his king gave him one crown made up of gold. Real or impure, find out. He was having his bath and in the bathtub he found body floating. A eureka without clothes, he started running on the road. He found out loss of flotation. Right brothers, they saw birds fly. If they fly, can we also fly? Then came aeroplane. Why so much? During COVID 2020, when Prime Minister came and said, okay, that we're going to have lockdown, you cannot go to school, miss cannot come to school, but then uh, how you can learn? Somebody invented something called, you know, online class, either through Zoom or Google Meet. Some platform had come, right? I'm right now I'm here in Rorkela in Odisha. I'm talking to through a video format, miss, even if I am not there you know, physically with you, I am still able to communicate to all of you because my colleagues Sunil and Stone and John, they found out a way that through YouTube, I can reach out to you. Okay, Somebody found out this YouTube mechanism, right? And what's the video they found out, right? And the means what? Every time you have a question, how can my children learn even when they don't go to school, how they can learn? Ma'am is at home, you are in, at home and still she can teach you, you can still learn. Asking question. So in the classroom, don't remain silent spectator. Ask question. Interact with the teacher. Ask ma'am, who did this? When did you do this? Who asked him to do this? What did you do? Where did you do? Why did you do? If you would have not done, then what would have happened? Ma'am, might sometimes she might irritated. But 
on any given day she will really appreciate you that's when you will develop the logical brain that's called left brain and that's when you will become a good engineer you can become abdul kalam great scientist you can send satellite to the space and that's when you can become a great cb officer one small clue you get and you can actually get onto the right cause as to who did this particular crime you can become a chartered accountant you can find out the mistake in the big account book as well and that's when you can have that kind of bent of mind you can become a good lawyer as well so if you want to become a nobel prize winner you want to become a top most scientist you want to get into medicine or science or accountancy law or into the police department wherever you think there is a logic there you need to use this method called five wives and one husband method means five w's one h who when where what why and how and if you are a parent watching this video ask your children all these six questions that means they understood once they understood brain becomes more matured when they go to higher classes the fundamentals are strong then they know how to build from here to the next concept from there to next concept if you simply by heart and pass exam you may go to higher classes you may get promoted but you have not understood this concept there you will struggle to understand build the bridges but if you know the concept brain become that much more matured so you need to get this particular idea as to how you can remember science subjects if you can use this six questions i'm sure you got the actually essence of this answer and then it will never fade away from your brain you will have wonderful memory and this is called long term memory okay you understood one concept today till the exams there is no way you are going to forget it in fact when you go to higher classes you get this concept clear now you will be able to apply those concept as well so this is uh, one such beautiful method all of you need to apply when you go to school or college when you are a tuition master when you are explain to someone and if you are doing some combined studies now you ask this his question to your friend so that he answer this his question means he understood he didn't buy hat he understood the whole concept that's how you are going to build your memory so this is called jaisima president indian memory council multiple guinness world record on signing up from rurkela we shall meet up again in the next video until then keep smiling love you all bye bye